That's right. And 7 News' Tatiana Cash is live in Easley at McKissick Academy of Science and Technology. Good morning, Tatiana. Good morning to you. Yes, that's right. So I'm here with John Eby, and he's going to tell us just why he's super excited slash why we're excited for the new school year. So good morning to you. Talk about it. Good morning. Well, the first thing we're really excited about this year, maybe not everybody's excited about it, but we are, is stability. Um, every school has their principal returning, which is almost unheard of because life happens, retirement happens, you know, things happen and, and things change. But stability is good for kids. It's good for schools, and we love having that this year. Every teaching p position is filled, which is great given the teacher shortage that the state has had, but we're in good shape in Pickens County. Um, so those are the things that are stable that we're happy with. Big changes, uh, not a lot. New high school start times, they're moving back by 10 minutes from 8.10 to 8.20. You're welcome, teenagers. Uh, a few more minutes of sleep in the morning. Um, but uh, you, you can thank the school board and the superintendent for that whenever you see them. Wave and say hi. Other big change, uh, visible changes, renovations outside McKissick Academy of Science and Technology. It's one of our two magnet schools. Uh, we're very proud of them. They, they uh, started the magnet school program uh, last year. Uh, but this year, you can really see it visibly as you come up to the outside of the school. So we're excited about the year. We're excited about things that are going to happen. We can't wait to see all the kids back. And we're just ready to start. John, I know you're a parent and trying to get your little one up in the morning or honestly get your big one up when it comes to high schoolers. What suggestions, what advice do you have? Because first day of school, sometimes you just don't want to get up. Well, I would say <laughs> they say the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago or today. So <laughs> I, I would have said start getting your kid up on an earlier schedule uh, coming into today. Um, as for that, you know, you, you, as a parent, you just have to know your kid. No two kids are alike. Uh, getting them out of bed, for some it might be a gentle whisper and some it might be a bucket of cold water. So <laughs> I'll leave that. I'll let parents be parents. Uh, my child's a morning person, thank the Lord, sometimes. Uh, not on the weekends. That's not fun on the weekends. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's up to the parent. And uh, like I say, just be glad, teenagers, that you get a few more minutes of sleep. We're actually going to next year. We're planning on moving that start time back even a little further, maybe 8.30, because the long-term plan behind this change, so parents understand, is our goal is to separate completely our high school and elementary school bus routes, um, just for safety concerns and having the same age kids on, the same, on those buses. That's the long-term goal from all this, and that's what we're working towards next year. John, thank you so much. So for now, we're going to send it back to them in the studio, but we'll continue talking about all the fun changes and the excitement coming up in just a few. But for now, here at Easley, Tatiana Cash, 7 News. And it's also welcome back to students in Abbeville County today, too. Thank you, Tatiana.